So let's continue our journey and at this step we're finally going to create our first React plugins. So let's begin, it's quite interesting. So what we need to do, we need to create a storage user plugin jazz in plugin folder. So let's start with that. Let's create it. paste the content from here yes how I understood how to create this beautiful plugin I will give you a hint in Scandi PVA documentation we have create Scandi PVA app documentation folder and here we have application plugins and plugin templates and here it is plugin templates basically the templates for uh, every plugin time that you may may need and here it is particular one adding reducer to the redux store so let's close this and go back develop it what do we need we need to open redux dev tools <coughs> Let's try, right, but most likely it's not gonna work because we need, after adding plugin, we need to restart our front end. Yeah. And what we have, have here? Why it is not resolving the path? Maybe because it's just not indexed. And everything gonna work. Oh, of course, we haven't created social share folder in previous step. Let's do that. Copy paste it here. Add. And delete these files. And now it's gonna be, I think, fine. Social share. Social share. And no, we still have some errors. Cannot resolve the path social share. Hmm, very interesting. Let's try to enter the path store. Social share. Social share reducer. Save. the front end again And just in a second, it should be ready. Yes. And let's go to the store. Let's refresh the page. And open our Redux DevTools. Okay, let's let's wait until it fully loads. Let's take a look in our states and here we are we have a social share object with enabled with value not. This is our initial initial state for our reducer. Let's go back and most likely we're gonna connect our dispatcher and here is the trick that original rotor container has a, a mob dispatch to props 
and has a, a neat method inside of it. And then this init method is called by initialize application. And what it does, it dispatch all the values, for example, uh, config dispatcher, which, which provides all a basic configuration for our application. The same manner our social share uh, dispatcher is made. But what we could do, we could add a separate one object as init and plug in into map dispatch to props and then we can could create one more plugin plug inside the initialize application method and call this original content and then call our uh, method to fetch data from the back end but we going to proceed a little bit more extreme and what we're going to do, we are going to mutate this object. So let's try it out. What we need to do, we first we need to create one more plugin, rotor container, map dispatch to props. Let's do that. Okay. copy content here it is our plugin so what we are doing here we are importing our dispatcher then we are plugging plan plugging in into the map dispatch to props of the router container we destructing the dispatch and we getting original object map dispatch props then we just destructing init method of the original map dispatch to props then we taking the map dispatch to props init method uh, putting inside the arguments from the initial mat uh, object then we are calling initial <laughs> init passing all required arguments inside and then we binding uh, one more method social shell dispatcher handle data and there it theoretically after doing this we should uh, succeed only having one plugin so hopefully it will be so let's restart our front end <coughs> and hope that PHP storm will stop indexing. Yeah, let's restart our reload our front end again. Take a look inside the state. 
And yeah, here we go. We received the value from our backend. Congratulations! Woo! Super cool. Super cool. See you in next videos.